Good morning, y'all. This is Shereen with PassionatePennyPicture.com. And y'all, look, didn't even plan it, but I match the magic menu box. I mean, what in the world? You, I mean, I can't even, I don't know. I got a good color going on. Anyway, this is our slow cooker magic menu box. And we are on, if you don't know what this is, we call this Croctober. It's 20 days of slow cooking recipes in your slow cooker for the month of October. So we're smart and we're calling it Croctober and it's so fun. And anyway, if y'all are interested in 60 fabulous slow cooker recipes plus 12 desserts, you can click the link above and Nicole's gonna put the link also in the comment. Good morning, Lisa. And okay, today y'all, I'm not lying. I'm gonna do something in the Instant Pot. We're gonna see how versatile these recipes are. I know we also have a private Facebook group that comes when you purchase um, the menu plans and those ladies in there are amazing and they do stuff in their Instant Pot. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna try my Instant Pot today. So good morning, Irene, good morning, Kristen. So y'all, I'm scared. We're gonna start with dessert because uh, that's what we're gonna try in the Instant Pot. It is slow cooker rice pudding, but today it's gonna be Instant Pot rice pudding. We are also making a slow cooker barbecue turkey breast, so stay tuned for that after we get done with the Instant Pot. Y'all say a little prayer for me that I don't blow up the house because I'm not even lying. Like the Instant Pot scares me. I'm gonna put a little magic tin over here and we are going to get going. Good morning, Joanne. Good morning, Melissa and Tina and Carolyn and Nancy and Kylie. Oh, it's so good to see all y'all today. Okay, so here we go. Let me just tell y'all, I'm deviating from the recipe a bit because it is in the Instant Pot, but under normal circumstances, if you're making this in the slow cooker, you put the first six ingredients in your slow cooker, you know, fix it and forget it kind of thing. Um, but we'll go through the ingredients as we get going, but... Oh, good morning, Debbie. Debbie, so y'all, everybody say hi to Debbie. We love new people here, and we are we are a really happy place on the internet, so welcome today. Good morning, Patty. Oh, you just got the slow cooker menus. Yay! Um, how do you get in the private Facebook group? Send us an email at shop at passionatepennypincher.com, and we will get you um, all that information. Good morning, Dina and Christina. All right, y'all. Thank y'all for telling me good morning. Um, y'all seem really in a good mood today. Okay, I'm putting y'all down. Okay, I've got the Instant Pot. And y'all know, I'm not lying. I'm scared of this thing. <laughs> Give me a heart if y'all are scared too. And also, hey, it's Amazon Prime Day, so let's give away an Amazon gift card. If y'all sprinkle uh, this video, AKA S-H-A-R-E, but Facebook doesn't like us to say that, we will give away a uh, $120 Amazon gift card for y'all to use during Prime Day. Well, I'll, well, you may not get it till tomorrow. I don't know. I don't know when Prime Day ends. I'm not on the deal team, so I'm not sure, but they are rocking it and rolling. Okay, so I read a little bit about what you should do if you're using milk in an Instant Pot because um, I was a little nervous that it might like curdle. So what we're going to do, what I read, and I practiced it last night, is you put it on saute on the saute button so I just turned that on and we've got our I've got three tablespoons of butter in here <clears throat> and we're going to let that melt and then I'm gonna add my rice okay y'all this may be I have done instant let's see what did I do I did instant pot Easter eggs one year but that is really the extent of instant potting that I have done on um, Y'all, I'm trying to get your comments on Facebook Live. Oh, Heather, thank you for sprinkling. And uh, oh, Lenora, somebody said they love their Instant Pot. Okay. Now, if y'all have any tips, please tell. I'm going to try to be looking. Uh, Lisa asked, or Linda asked, what I'm making, I'm making slow cooker rice pudding in the Instant Pot. And I'm also going to be making a slow cooker barbecue turkey breast. So, okay. This is three tablespoons of butter that I'm melting in here. Now, if you're using the slow cooker, you're going to just add six cups of 2% milk or whole milk, one and a half cups of uncooked rice, and I'm just using long grain rice, one cup of sugar, one cup of raisins, optional, uh, three tablespoons of butter melted, and a half a teaspoon of salt, and two teaspoons of vanilla extract. And that's, you would put all of that in your 
instant pot. But, we're, I mean, in your slow cooker. But today, we're doing things a little bit different. So we're gonna see if this works. I think it's gonna work. Okay, I'm melting this. So what I'm gonna do is, Angel, you use your time. Thank you, Miss Franklin and Patricia. Okay, I, I am kind of nervous, y'all. Like, I'm not even lying. This thing makes me, it actually makes me kind of jittery. <clears throat> oh, Jackie, thank you for sharing. Okay, Kelly says, once you start cooking regularly, you'll love it. Um, and she's about worn hers out. <sighs> y'all, I'm going to try. I do, I will say, I boil my eggs in here. And that's about the only thing. But I'm just, it just makes me nervous. Every time I have to do the same thing, it makes me nervous. Now, also, y'all, if, if my video starts messing up again, I need to rinse my rice. Okay, that is a good point. I did do that last night. Oh, I need to turn this off because I forgot about that. Thank you, whoever said that. Let me grab my colander. Um. <clears throat> All right. Okay, now I'm afraid that my... I'm going to turn this off for a minute. My butter is going to burn. I forgot to rinse my rice. Okay, I have one and a half cups of rice. And I'm going to rinse it. Okay. Linda says today's uh, pressure cookers are safe and great. Okay, I'm trusting you. Okay, now I'm going to throw this, this is wet rice. I'm turning my saute back on. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to get this rice and my milk to, um, like to heat before we actually turn the pressure part on because that way we will save our milk from curdling. So I'm gonna do this for a minute. Now y'all, I am not an expert. So Sherry, I do not know why we rinse the rice, but I did read that and someone uh, who is smarter than me with the Instant Pot uh, reminded me, so I'm so glad. Instructions for the Instant Pot say to rinse the rice, Amy said. So, Wendy, thanks for sprinkling. Okay, so we've got this. Now, I am going to add, I've got four cups of milk. The recipe calls for six cups, but I'm gonna start with four cups. I don't know. This is, okay, this is one thing that y'all tell me. <clears throat> In an instant pot, is the ratio with rice like it is normally? Like I have one and a half cups of rice, so that would be three cups of liquid if I was making it normal. So I feel like in here, I wanna add a little bit more, so I did four cups. Our recipe calls for six cups. So y'all, we are deviating from this recipe. So I don't know, y'all tell me if I should put in two more cups because I feel like I can always add, it's a pudding. I think we can add it later. So that I feel comfortable adding it later. What do y'all think? Y'all let me know. So we are going to simmer this and it seems like I wanted to tell y'all something. Good morning from Baltimore, Carrie. I think you said you were new. Welcome if you are. Um, oh, Catherine says she's so thankful for this group of real women. That is so sweet. I am so thankful for all of y'all too. Okay, so less liquid. Amy said less liquid. Okay, that's what I was thinking. So I'm going to stick with my four cups. I think it's going to be right. Now we want this to heat up. And I'm gonna add one cup of sugar in here. And so what, I was reading on somebody who's like a instant pot guru, that you want your sugar to dissolve before you start it in here. So that's what we're gonna do. Also need to add a little bit of salt. Half a teaspoon of salt. Okay, where's my half a teaspoon? Hey, if y'all are interested, I think I think, you know what, I did not check, but I think our measuring spoons are back up on our shop. If y'all click through that link, you can find those on here too. But have y'all been enjoying Croctober? Good morning, Crystal. 
Bridget, I am making slow cooker rice pudding, but I'm making it in the Instant Pot, or I'm attempting to. I'm not promising. Uh, Melissa, it's your first time watching. Oh, I'm so glad to have you today. Welcome to the happiest place on the internet. Okay, someone just said, I did turn it back on, Deidre. I've got it back on. I would turn it around so y'all could see like my buttons, but I'm, I'm too scared to not be able to see them and punch them, so. Kelly says, if you don't dissolve the sugar, it will burn. Okay, so yes, that's good to know. Anna, I am making slow cooker rice pudding. Diane, thanks for sprinkling. And Kelly said, welcome, Melissa. Good morning, Denise. Okay, y'all. Whoo, I'm gonna take a, I'm taking a, a breather. I think I'm supposed to add, am I supposed to add my vanilla in here? Let me see. I'm not really sure. Oh, Lizzie got an instant pot yesterday on Amazon Prime. Awesome. Okay, y'all give me any other instant pot tips because I need them. Okay, it's warming up, and then after this dissolves, we're going to pressure cook it for 16 minutes. Now, and then I think we have to do a release. So, I'm not gonna stay on here that long, but if y'all really wanna see it, I'll hop back on. Um, because the turkey breast isn't going to take that long to do once we get this going. Charlie said she just really needs to get into it and use it. I know. That's how I am, Charlie. Exactly. So, it's, it's just how it is. Good morning, Trisha. Vicki said hers is still in the box. I saw that comment yesterday. <laughs> that kind of cracked me up. Mine is at least not in the box. I have used it to do eggs. So, but that's really about it. And I really should take advantage. I mean, I really think there are so many of these slow cooker recipes that you could do in the Instant Pot that we're missing out. Jan Janie said they sell just the fryer lid if you already have the Instant Pot. So you can fry this sucker? What? Y'all, I had no idea. You can fry in this. Really? Huh. Shana, yours is still in the box, too. <laughs> oh, y'all are cracking me up. Kelly says you can use the Instant Pot to do the slow cooker meals, too. Yeah, I know a lot of people have been doing them. We don't have a conversion or anything. I've got some, something wet right here. I need to wipe up. Um, but <clears throat> I don't know. If I get comfortable enough, I may start using it. Okay, it's getting, it's, it's, it's warm. So I think we're good. I'm gonna go ahead and add my vanilla. I feel like I'm supposed to add my vanilla now. So, or maybe I don't. Eh. Okay, I'm gonna add two teaspoons of vanilla. Y'all, the vanilla is what really makes this super yummy. Okay, there's one. I've got a new bottle over here. Y'all have a trash pile over here, like just like Rachel Ray does. I don't have a bowl, but I have a trash pile. Uh, someone asked if you make it in the slow cooker, if you just dump it all in. Yes, you do. The first seven ingredients on the recipe, you dump in. And then we will have to talk about the egg. You have to temper the egg. And uh, interesting fact, I just watched this thing on PBS the other day. Uh, it was a French pastry chef. It was on... Um, Oh, do y'all remember that show, uh, Yan Can Cook? Anyway, it's him. It's the Yan guy. It, this pastry chef was on his show, and they were tempering. They were making meringues and doing tempering eggs. And I was like, oh, that's just like what I have to do on the rice pudding. So. Kelly says she loves Rachel Ray. Yeah, you just dump it all. That's exactly. I'm dumping it all in my sink. Uh, so, okay, I think we're I think we're pretty good. Okay, I'm going to attempt to put the lid on, y'all. This is another struggle, and I'm not lying. Like the putting the lid on to me is part of my problem. Okay. Oh, I think I was starting to tell y'all if my sound gets crazy to like goes in and out today, I'm gonna cry because the past two weeks I've had technical difficulties, which has made me super sad. Okay, here we go. Let's see. <gasps> I cannot believe it. Okay, I'm putting it to seal. I'm putting the lid on. 
Okay, now, here we go. I'm putting it on pressure cook for 16 minutes. All right, I'm setting it back. I don't want steam interfering with my sound. I think that could have been part of my problem last week when I was making the French onion soup. Okay, 16 minutes, let me grab a turkey breast. <clears throat> okay, I already have my turkey breast in here. So this is the slow cooker turkey breast. All of these recipes, both of these recipes are from week six of the slow cooker. Our cute little slow cooker box that I matched today. It's so cute, I love it. All right, so the sleeves are worrying me. I know, the sleeves are kind of worrying me too. So we'll see. I hope, I, when I put it on, I was like, ooh, I don't know. Let me move stuff. Okay, so uh, back to the rice pudding. We have raisins and cinnamon and egg that we have to add to it. And I'll pop back on here after I get the turkey breast done and clean up a little bit. Um, when this thing goes, is about to go off, I'll pop back on so y'all can see it. So, um... So you can buy, Amy said, that's what I wanted. I need a larger Instant Pot, but I may just buy the lid too. Huh. But I don't, I, I think I missed what you were talking about. I think you were talking about an air fryer. Yeah. I know, Susan, I feel the same way. She says she's scared too. I am using a liner today with this. I typically don't use one very often, but today with the turkey breast, I thought, you know what? I'm going to use a liner. So that's what we're doing. Okay, hoping my sleeves stay out of my stuff. Okay, so for the slow cooker turkey breast, I have about a four pound bone in turkey breast, and I will say it was a little difficult to find. I ended up having to get a butter ball one that you were, it was already like in a bag and you were supposed to cook it from frozen, but I thought it, took it out of the bag, so I have it. And a half a cup of your favorite barbecue rub, or there's also listed below, you probably can't see, but ingredients to make your own barbecue rub. And it is fabulous. When I tested this recipe, I made that. And it is a great rub. But I really didn't have time to do that today. So I just have my store-bought barbecue rub. My favorite of all times is Rendezvous. If you're from the Memphis area, you will know what I'm talking about. But I don't have any. i got to make a trip to my parents so I can get me some Rendezvous. Well, I need to go see them. But I need to get some Rendezvous seasoning too. So I'm going to rub down oh i've rinsed my turkey and i have dried it thoroughly so i'm going to rub it down got to touch it with all this stuff so now i am wondering about my sleeves that maybe jenny you missed it i'm making uh i'm making rice pudding in the instant pot so hey if y'all are from the memphis area and you know about the rendezvous seasoning or you know about the rendezvous restaurant they are famous 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 for ribs Okay, we're rubbing. We're just going to show this baby some love. We want to get all up under the um, up under the skin and all up in the cavities and everywhere, everywhere we can. Okay, this thing's sliding around because I've got this liner in here. Okay, let me turn this bird over. And this is it, you don't need any liquid, you don't need butter. Oh, I hear my Instant Pot. You don't need oil, nothing. But now, I will say, I am gonna put a meat thermometer in here, because I don't, you don't wanna overcook. Y'all, this thing is slip sliding, slip sliding away. Seriously, what in the world? All right, we're sprinkling. <clears throat> okay, if I start sneezing, y'all will know this stuff is getting up my nose. Oh, someone said they lived in the instant, I mean, in the Memphis area. My parents live in Cordova. I missed who it was, and I can't go scroll the comments because my hand's dirty. Okay, I'm getting all up under the skin. And yes, I need to go to Kroger in Memphis and get me some rendezvous. Uh, seasoning y'all best ribs and oh my goodness they do this meat and cheese tray oh Jackie yes yum yum Don what did I set my instant pot on to start 16 I put it on pressure cook 16 minutes but you know what 
it just says on. Oh, I think it hasn't come up to pressure. Is that what that means when it hadn't started counting down yet? Okay, y'all, this thing, I think this is pretty good. Now, I have um, a large yellow onion that I have cut into chunks, and I'm going to put it in that. I'm going to put it over here in this little cavity thing. I'm going to attempt to. So now I gotta flip him over and my bag is causing me, causing me all kinds of issues. But I might be able to flip him over. I think I want the skin up. I think that's right. Okay, I'm stuffing. Stuffing the stuffing these this onion. Okay, y'all, this is kind of a mess. Ugh. Look at my hands, disgusting. All right, gonna have to, to take a moment to do a little washy washy. Oh, Kel says it has the pop valve, does it? All right. Hey, I'm going, uh, I think you're right. Surely the butter balls do, that's kind of what they're famous for. Okay, y'all, I've got to take a minute to get all this. is like up under my fingernails. It's so disgusting. Yeah. All right, I think I've got it. Okay, so, Carol, I'm gonna trust you. Oh, my Instant Pot's up to pressure that I don't need to put. Um, I have this little thing, honestly, like it goes in here, but I, I don't even know. Like, I think you insert it in there, but I don't, I don't, I've never used it. I have no idea how to do that. So I'm gonna go with the pop valve or the pop thingy that, and hope, hope for the best that it's gonna work. So y'all, that is it. Slow cooker rice pudding in the Instant Pot, conquering fears today, and this turkey breast. And I think I'm gonna make mashed potatoes and green beans tonight. They'll feel a little bit like Thanksgiving. Oh, I know, Jill, I should have used some gloves today. Definitely. Okay, do y'all have any questions about any of the recipes? And do y'all want me to hop back on with this Instant Pot situation and show the rice pudding and how to temper the egg and all that stuff? So if y'all do, give me a heart. And if y'all will keep sprinkling the video, we will definitely give away a $20 Amazon gift card for um, some lucky winner who sprinkles. So, y'all, I can't believe I match. I feel so like, I don't know, coordinated today or something, I don't know. But if y'all have not gotten these amazing recipes, please do it. Like we are selling them like hotcakes. We still have plenty, but I really think definitely by <clears throat> the end of the year they'll sell out, if not like in November. So if you've been on the fence, they're worth it. You immediately get the PDF. Like I said, you get um, access to a private Facebook group full of encouraging sweet, sweet ladies. And I know a lot of y'all are already in that group. And we just love y'all to death. Sweetest ladies on the planet. 60 recipes. Grocery, dry erasable grocery list. Oh, here's what it looks like inside. Helpful hints. Cute table of contents. It's the best. And it's so cute. And it matches my outfit. So, hey. It's, it's fall in Alabama. So, I will pop back on. Y'all give me lots of hearts. I'll pop back on in, let's see, if I've got 14 more minutes on the Instapot. Then it has to release for 10. So about 24 minutes, I will pop back on. So I'll see y'all here in a bit. Thank y'all so much for watching and y'all have a great day. Bye. Hey y'all, this is Sheree and I'm back finishing up the slow cooker rice pudding in the Instant Pot. So, we are, like, it's ready. So, I've got to pull this over here. Hold on. It's going to be loud, and it's going to be steamy, and I hope that y'all are coming back to watch, because the uh, majority wanted me to come back with it. So, ah! okay, woo, y'all, okay, hold on. I got to move some stuff around. Definitely don't want steam all up on my computer. So, all right, y'all, I've got the Instant Pot. All right, can y'all see? I don't want, I'm gonna move y'all back because I don't want steam like getting all up on my phone. All right, here we go. We're going to, 
This is slow cooker rice pudding in the Instant Pot. How do you do this thing? Hold on, okay, it's gotta go this way. There we go, woo! All right, I feel like I have my cauldron over here and I've been stirring up a brew or something. Woo, what's going on my pendant light? Okay, I'm a little nervous, like Instant Pot, I'm not lying, like they, I'm sweating. <laughs> and then I'm nervous like what I'm gonna find in here because this could totally be like burnt up and I don't know, because it had milk in it. So we are making, oh, and y'all look, if y'all didn't catch before, my slow cooker box matches my outfit today. Okay, we are making the slow cooker rice pudding, but we're doing it in the instant pot. We're attempting to, y'all, this lighting is terrible. I have no idea what is going on. Hey, Janelle. Hey, Julie. Okay, so if y'all missed the last video, y'all can go and find it. Um, I don't know why that lighting is so bad um, on the page. And y'all can see how we did the rice pudding before uh, the crazy instant pot release. So, all right, here we go. Hoping y'all can see without me having to, all right. Here we go. I'm stepping back. Woo. All right, y'all. Okay. That's a lot of steam. And if my phone, I'm going to be so mad if my phone like goes crazy. Okay, there's a lot of liquid still in here. Can y'all see that? So I'm going to stir it. The rice looks done. Okay, I think it's good. It's good. It's good. I'm feeling good about it. Y'all, I need something to hold that, hold that down so it's not, hope y'all can see. Okay, sorry I can't really chit chat with y'all while I'm doing this because this is, I'm like, I'm nervous and I can't see. Becca said you, have, you absolutely love rice pudding. Y'all, I have not made it in years and years and years, so I'm excited. I'm actually going to have it for breakfast. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do, we have to temper our egg. I have one egg, and I'm just gonna feed it here. <clears throat> now, what would happen if I just poured this right in here is we'd have scrambled eggs. So, to temper it, let me move this back, I'm going to take out half a cup of my hot mixture and then I'm going to slowly add this back in here. I think y'all can see. So we're just gonna slowly add it to bring the egg up, like so the egg gets warm without cooking it. So this is an important step or otherwise you're gonna have scrambled eggs mixed in with your rice pudding. So do not skip this. So even on the slow cooker version where you just dump everything in at the end you do have to do this so of course it takes one minute it's not that big of a deal so we're tempering it and I don't have any scrambled eggs here so I think we're good all right I'm happy with that So y'all see that? No scrambled eggs and it's warm. So I'm gonna add this back to my pot. And then I'm going to put this on saute for just a minute. Okay, I hope y'all can see. There you go. Okay, saute. Oh, hold on, I gotta cancel. Now I have to say saute okay so we're just going to saute that in there and honestly i'm probably going to add a little bit more milk i did not add as much as the original recipe called for because i didn't want to have too much liquid but i think i am going to add a little bit more right now and for rice pudding you definitely want to use two percent or whole milk so you get that rich creamy Creamy flavor. You could even uh, put in a little bit of half and half. And you definitely don't want to skip the vanilla either. It brings a really good flavor. Okay, so 
So I think we're getting there. Okay, so I've got my saute on just to cook that egg another few seconds. And I'm probably about to turn that off. So do y'all have any questions? This is in, ooh, I'm definitely gonna turn that off because I don't think I want that really cooking my, add a little bit more milk. So, if y'all have any other questions, let me know. This is the slow cooker rice pudding, and I earlier I uh, had been on and um, had started it, and so everybody wanted to see the finished product. I didn't want to stay on forever, so I'm going to add raisins. Totally optional, but we like raisins over here. And then I need ooh, that thing is like sizzling. I didn't put the raisins in uh, with when I was doing the pressure cooking because I thought they might blow up. And so, adding them in. So I'm also going to add a teaspoon. I don't know where my teaspoon went, but I'm gonna add a teaspoon. This is a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. So in here I have one and a half cups of rice. I had four cups of milk that I started with, three tablespoons of butter, a little bit of salt, and a cup of sugar, and two teaspoons of vanilla extract. So that's what we started with, in case y'all are wondering. Um, but this recipe, along with 60 other slow cooker, actually 60 slow cooker like dinners, and 12 desserts are in our recipe um, box above in the link. So to this, I'm adding one cup of light sour cream. Now, we have started replacing our sour cream with Greek yogurt, so that's what I'm using, the 0% Greek yogurt. And I may still add a little bit more milk. We'll see how the consistency is. And this adds a whole other depth of flavor to it. It gives it, it's not really tangy at all. It's just, and I love to use the Greek yogurt because it adds a lot of protein to help you get full. And since I'm using this for my breakfast today, that is going to be fabulous. I need to get a bowl so I can taste test it and show y'all that it's definitely edible and we had a success. I'm gonna add some more milk. This is pretty thick. But I mentioned to my husband, I'm like, do you want some for breakfast? And he was like, no. But I think it's a yummy, I mean, I don't know. I don't really see the difference between this and having like oatmeal or something. So I'm gonna have it for breakfast. I've got my coffee over there. So I think we're, I think we're about good to go. If I had some whipped cream, I would put that on top of it too. Let me get a little bowl. Okay, I think we're golden. So here we go. I mean, it's not the prettiest dessert in the world, but it's definitely yummy. So I think that's good. And I'm gonna give it a little sprinkle like I said, if I had some um, whipped cream, but so don't y'all wish y'all were here to have some of my rice pudding. So good. Okay, so let me get a spoon and we'll give it a try and hopefully it's good. I still feel like it needs to, I need to just keep adding milk. So you can store this in the refrigerator and um, add milk if necessary. You can warm it up in the microwave you can eat it cold, however you want to do it. Uh, Willa Dean said she always had cooked rice and milk sugar for breakfast and no reason rice pudding couldn't be a substitute. I agree, Willa Dean. Mm. That's good. Okay, so how I did it on the Instant Pot, I put, I put it on saute, three tablespoons of butter. I put one and a half cups of rice in and four cups of 2% milk and a half a teaspoon, I think it's half a teaspoon of salt, and two 
yeah, two teaspoons of vanilla extract. I sauteed it till the sugar came up and dissolved. And then I put it on 16 minutes pressure cook. And then I let it natural release for 10 minutes. And then y'all saw me do the rest with the steam. And then I did one egg, tempered it with a half a cup of the mixture, put it back in, sauteed it for just a few seconds, put in the raisins, put in the cinnamon, and a cup of light sour cream. And, and I use Greek yogurt and it's good. Mm. It's so good. It really is. Great for breakfast. So I'm going to go get my cup of coffee. I'm going to enjoy this. So if y'all are interested in the menu plans, you can click the link above. It'll take you right there. It's $39. You get a private Facebook group. You get a 72 recipes, grocery list. Oh, you get the PDF right away so you can start cooking. This is day eight. Day eight. Or no, is it day seven? Day eight of October. So I did also did the um, you can see it behind me. Actually, I'll bring it over here. In case y'all missed it, I did the barbecue turkey breast today as well. Right, let me move this over. Y'all can see. So, I haven't started it yet. But, here's the barbecue turkey breast. I'm going to make some mashed potatoes and some green beans and maybe some rolls. And it's going to feel like Thanksgiving over here tonight. So, anyway, y'all have a great day and I will see y'all later. Bye.